In this video, I'm going to go over algebraic operators and expressions in Python. Algebraic operators perform mathematical operations on numeric data values. There are seven basic algebraic operators in Python. They are the plus sign for addition, the minus sign for subtraction, an asterisk for multiplication, a forward slash for division, two forward slashes for integer division, two asterisks for power, so if I, I wanted to say three to the third power, I could do that here, or modulus. Modulus returns a remainder. So these are our seven basic algebraic operators. An algebraic expression combines numeric values with algebraic operators. Algebraic expressions resolve into a numeric value. So for example, 2 plus 5, I'm combining two numeric values with an algebraic operator. This is an algebraic expression. 2 plus 5 would resolve into the uh, numeric value 7. On my next example, I have 2.1 times 2 plus 7. Well, the, algebra the algebraic operators in Python, they have an ordered precedence uh, in which they will uh, they, they follow. So for example, in Python, a multiplication will always occur before an addition. So if I wanted to, so, so in this example, 2.1 times 2 will resolve first, which will give me 4.2, and then I'm going to add 7, which gives me 11.2. But if you want to be clear in your, when you have a more complex algebraic expression, you can use parentheses to help um, organize your expressions. Uh, when you add parentheses, the innermost parentheses always are solved first, and then you work your way out. So if I wanted to add 2 plus 7 before doing the multiplication, I could put a pair of parentheses around the 2 plus 7. My last uh, example here, I have 7 modulus 3 plus 5 to the power of 2. So 7 modulus 3 works, the way it works is 3 will go into 7 two times, with one left over. So the remainder of 7 divided by 3 is 1. So modulus gives us the remainder. 5 to the power of 2 is, the, is 5 squared. 5 times 5 is 25. 25 plus 1 is 26. Now compound operators, com we can use compound operators when we want to do an algebraic operation against a variable and then save that result back into the variable. It's a shortcut uh, syntax here. So for example, let's say I wanted to add 1 to whatever value was an age. Well, I could just write it out. I could say my, n my new age is equal to my old age plus 1. I'm going to take the old age value, add 1 to it, and then save that result back into the variable age. Well, a compound operator saves me a little bit of syntax. So age plus equals 1 will take 1, add it into age, or add it to the value that's currently in age, and then override that value with the new summed value. Let's look at this one. Savings times equals 1.02. I'm going to take 1.02, multiply it by whatever value is currently in savings, and then I'm going to save that result back into savings. So these are equivalent. The new savings is equal to the old savings times 1.02. Half divided by equal 2. I'm going to take the value that's currently in half, divide it by 2, and I'll get a new value, and then I'm, then I'm going to save that new value back into the variable half. So compound operators allow you to do an operation on the, va on the value that's in the variable, and then it automatically saves that value back into the variable. Let's open up a quick little Python document and walk through a couple of these operators just to show how they work. Addition is probably pretty straightforward. 2 plus 3 gives me 5. So the addition operator adds, the plus operator adds two values. So if I say 2 minus 3, subtraction operator subtracts it. So 2 minus 3 gives me negative 1. Multiplication operator. So if I say what's 3 times 12, we get 36. So single asterisk is multiplication. The division operator, 
if I say what is um, 7 divided by 3, I get 2.333 repeating. Um, so the division operator is going to produce a float value regardless of what you are, multi are dividing. So if I said 7.1 divided by 3, I get a float. Two integers divided by one another, I still get a float. Integer division. Integer division works, the way integer division works is it's going to do the division, but you, it's always going to produce an integer data type. So you, you will lose the fractional portion of the division. So for example, if I said 7 integer division by 3, it gives me 2. 7 divided by 3 is 2.3 repeating, but when we do integer division, we throw away the uh, fractional part and we only keep the integer part. Okay, power. Power operator, let's see if I can put some more space here. Power operator is if I wanted to do, what if I wanted to do, what is 5 cubed? So for example, you might see it written as 5 to the third power. Well, I could say 5 to the third power. This is how we implement that in Python. So 5 cubed would be 125. All right, modulus. Modulus gives me the remainder. So we did 7 divided by uh, 7 integer division 3 gives me 2. There should be 1 left over. So 7 mod 3 gives me 1. Now let's look at compound operators. The compound operator does an operation against a variable value and then saves the result back into that variable. So let's say I have the variable pow2 and I store 2 into it. And I want to keep multiplying this value by 2. So I get 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. All right. So what I could do is I could say, well, pow2 is equal to the old pow2 times 2. So pow2 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. I'm going to store the value 4 back into pow2. So if I print my variable, it should say 4, and it does. But what I can also do is I can say pow2 times equals 2. Let me do this a couple times. Times equals 2, pow2 times equals 2. So the way this compound operator works is it, these two expressions are, or these two statements are equivalent. Pow2 times equals 2 is going to take whatever value currently is in 2, which is 4, multiply it by 2, so it's 8, and then we're going to save 8 back into pow2. So pow2 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. I'm going to store 16 back into POW2, so POW2 is now 16. 16 times 2 is 32. I'm going to save that result back into 32. So when I run this cell, we should see 32 printed, and we do. So compound operators just allow us to uh, save a little bit of syntax. All right, well, I hope this helps.